Hello, basketball fans. You've got it on 2K Sports. As we get set to bring you an exciting NBA basketball game. I'm Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony, Hall of Famer Doris Burke, and another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, from the sidelines. Let's see the stat sheet here for Kobe White. And a promising trend this month is the rise in his effective field goal percentage. He's showing a lot of smarts. Shot selection has been tremendous, and it's helped his numbers a ton. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. Alex Caruso out there with DeRozan. And it's Vucevic. Then it's White. And it's Dosunmu in at the shooting guard position. And for Cleveland, at the guard positions, it's Garland and Mitchell. The big men on the floor for him. Mobley and Allen. And it's Struess in at the three side. And at this point of the year, Greg injury starting to mount for some teams. And this is where your depth gets tested, your resolve. Because it takes a strength in numbers and strong leadership to get through it. Now, here's Mitchell. Inside. It's stolen by Vucevic. It's White on the wing. That three off the mark. And so Garland will bring it up for the Cavaliers. Allen inside. Shoots over Kosumu. That's good from Allen on the assist by Mitchell. Well, you like to see Jared Allen play to his strength. Just terrific at cashing in on the interior. You know, what, if anything, is left to be said about Donovan Mitchell's stunning 71-point game Doris in 2023? You know what, Kevin? I think we can lose the fact that he also had 11 assists. And to couple those two achievements, 71 points with 11 dimes, amplifies the scoring because it proves that he wasn't punting shots. What an extraordinary overall performance. There's nothing like a big man with agility. Jared Allen operating well in the pick and roll right now. Caruso, a screen on Mitchell. Mobley against DeRozan. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on Mobley. Wow, wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. First trip to the line for him here. And, you know, guys, he had a big game at the free throw line in their last outing. And he knocks down the first one. LGA for the Bulls. It's been a struggle to find consistency the past few seasons. It's been a one step forward, one step back kind of situation that they don't need to set their sights on a title yet. They just have to establish that winning culture. And he makes both free throws. One word, Doris, that comes to mind to describe this Cleveland team is scrappy. Now, Kevin, it's the perfect descriptor because you love how hard and how together this group plays. And to me, that represents their culture. Well, you can see how effective Darius Garland can be shooting it. It's all about him finding his rhythm. Right, the pass to Caruso. Back to White. Passes it to Dosunmu. Five to shoot. Vucevic a screen on Mitchell. Dosunmu's shot is off. Cavaliers have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Allen, a screen on White. Garland surveying the D. Kicks it out to Allen. Here's Mobley. And DeMar DeRozan pulls it down. Chicago's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. And there's the pass to Dosunga. White down low, guarded by Garland. White, good. And love the commitment from White. Took the bump, went up strong, and rewarded with two points. Now Mitchell really played well against Sacramento in his last outing. Pass to Allen. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. 
Out left to the wing. Vucevic to the pass to White. Here's Caruso. Bulls moving the ball around. White with it. He's picked up by Mobley. Back to DeRozan. Shoots over Struess. And DeRozan with the basket on the assist by White. And that'll tie this game up. Get it off before the defense can respond. DeMar in the catch and shoot game. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. Launches it. Buries the long range jumper. Well, we know Mitchell can hurt you from outside the arc. The defense better recognize this moving forward. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Cavaliers on top, up by three. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. What stands out to you from the Cavaliers in this one? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Boy, it's been a really pretty thing to watch, executing their game plan to perfection. Bulls trail by three. Niang out there with Jones. Then it's Mitchell. Then there's Karis LeVert. And it's a Coro in at the small forward. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Well, J.B. Bickerstaff, Greg, has done a tremendous job in his time with this Cavaliers team. And has had him on the winning track since his first full season with the team. Really getting the most out of this roster. Not full of superstars, but full of guys who enjoy playing together. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. DeMar DeRozan credits his upbringing in Compton, California, for helping him make the person that he is today. He said, it gave me my toughness, my aggression. It matured me very fast into a man. That's something that to this day sticks with me. No matter what I get or how much I have now, I still remember what it feels like to have nothing. Kevin? That's a good thought to keep in your head. David, thanks. And here's Levert, following the three-pointer by DeMar DeRozan. From deep, it's Drummond with the rebound. And so it's Carter who brings the ball up for the Chicago Bulls, trailing by two. The Cavaliers beat them last time when these two teams met in Cleveland. And they'll want to show that they're a much better team than they demonstrated last time out against these guys. At the very least, avoid another blowout. Well, so many of their problems stem from turnovers. They simply could not take care of the ball, and it cost them in that matchup. And here's Carter following the three-pointer by Donovan Mitchell. Carter against Mitchell. Carter kicks to Terry. Drummond sets the screen for Terry. He's looking for Drummond and finds him. And it's Drummond with the jam. This is what we call strength from a veteran big man. Andre Drummond, no stranger to taking punishment and scoring through it. Now here's Levert. 17 points for him last game against Sacramento. Well, you also have to credit the way he controlled the pace of the game and was able to create for his teammates. What would you pick right now, Doris, is one of the things that impresses you most about playing the NBA? Boy, Kev, there's, there's a couple of things that really stand out. Number one, the ball skills that players Six, have and the ability to shoot the ball with range off the bounce. Those are game-changing aspects in today's NBA. And the first one drops. To me, Karis LeVert has tons of upside. This is a 6'7 guard with an outstanding skill set. And the Cavaliers with some changes. Allen's checked in for Dean Wade. 
Evan Mobley comes in for George Niang. And it's Garland in for a Coro. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Vucevic checked in for Drummond. Alex Crusoe comes in for DeMar DeRozan. Ozumu, he's checked in for Jerry. And it's Kobe White in for Carter. Bulls trail by five. Pass to Vucevic. Oh, Vucevic in position, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by White. And let's take a look at the last handful of seasons and the steal numbers for Alex Caruso. And when you see the tumble his steal totals have taken the last few years, you, you can see that he's gotten away from playing the kind of gritty, hard-nosed D he was known for. That, that's an aspect of his game he needs to get back. Max Truce has checked in for Mitchell. Passes it to Allen. Back to Garland. White with the defensive effort. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. And the pass to Dosunga. Back to Caruso. Down to five on the shot clock. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. Dosunmu's shot is off. Cleveland leading by five. Outside Garland. Struce finds Allen. Does not score with that shot. It's his second miss against two made shots. Pass to Dosunmu. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. This is his first free throw of the game. And at 78%, he's been a consistent shooter at the line for them all season long. And the first one at the line is good. DeMar DeRozan, he's checked in for Torrey Craig. He's perfect from the line this time. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Pass to Allen. Allen a screen on White. Back to Allen. Nice job drawing the contact on that move. Jared Allen very difficult to contain because of his length. The Cavaliers have gone two for two in the game at the line. And their success rate on the season right around 77%. Shooting two. And that one falls for Allen. And guys, I think the future is so bright for Jared Allen. We're talking about an athletic, mobile big man who has already proven to be an accomplished two-way player. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Garland against White. Caruso sets the screen for White. There's the triple. Count it. And the Cavalier lead has been cut down to just two points with the bucket from Dosumu. Well, White has quickly developed great for vision doesn't miss the wide open man and a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime Cavaliers lead by two and a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside David thanks very much Nick obviously very tough out there what's your mindset uh, just want to come out not aggressive and just play hard on defense getting stops they're, they're a great team so no, they're not going to quit. They're going to keep playing. We just have to keep getting stops and keep believing that we can win this game, and good things will happen again. I know that's what Coach is going to preach in the second half. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this.
Greetings, Shaq, Kenny, and EJ here as we tip off the show with a look at our midseason Eastern Conference standings. And a bit of a gear switch here. Shaq, you are currently trending online right now. Fans are demanding you try your hand at a hot dog eating contest. Oh, Ernie, I actually would like to see this happen as well. I bet some of these guys would humble you, Shaq. Come on now, stop it. It wouldn't be fair. I'd be putting up Wilt Chamberlain numbers as a rookie contestant. Well, the key is being able to stretch your stomach, I've heard. Yours is already stretched from the post-Laker days, though. Nope. And let's take a look back at the first half. The Bulls are in a close one. They've been letting loose from that perimeter. You know what I'm going to say? Attack the paint. Make the defense feel your presence. If we know what you're going to say, does that mean you're getting a little predictable? That is more than enough of us. Let's send you back to the game. Kevin Harlan and crew with the second half. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. And here's White. He'll bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. A two-point game. Up next for him, the Grizzlies at the FedEx Forum. That will be their second of this five-game road trip. Taking a look at the Bulls, Kobe White is out there with Dosumu. And it's DeRozan, and it's Vucevic, and it's Caruso in at the small forward position. Now, here's Garland. After the miss from Vucevic, down low, Mobley, and the layup falls. Mobley's got the first points of the third quarter up on the board for the Cavs. Caruso against Drews. With his first shot attempt, and Caruso finishes inside. And that's his go-to move right there in the low post. White against Garland. Mobley a screen. Garland the pass to Mobley. That's good, and it's Garland with the assist. Garland's got three assists in the game. You know, Greg, it's nice to have a big man like Mobley out on the floor with all the things he can do. And, Kevin, you got to love his skill set for a seven-footer. Really diverse in terms of what he brings to the table. And then you hear so much praise for his attitude and his feel for the game. What a valuable player to have on your team. And here is Mitchell, following the three-pointer by DeMar DeRozan. Mitchell kicks to Garland. Six on the shot clock. Here's Allen. And the layup's good off the glass. And it's eight points for Jared Allen. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Caruso, a screen on Mobley. DeRozan passes to White. On the wing, DeRozan, covered by Mobley. Passes it to Caruso. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooters. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Garland against White. Mitchell wide open. And the Cavaliers get another bucket right there. Uh, Darius Garland playing the role of ball distributor to perfection. Pretty pass. DeRozan with it. He's got 10. Vucevic to the pass to DeRozan. Now Vucevic. A miss that time. Would have put him up. DeRozan against Struce. Garland kicks to Struce. There's the pass to Mobley. Shot clock at five. Kicks it out to Mitchell. Another three for Cleveland. You love how confident Donovan Mitchell is. On the catch-and-shoot opportunities, there's no hesitation. Pass to Caruso. DeRozan against Mobley. Shoots from the right block, and the basket by DeRozan. DeRozan's got 12. And not being as aggressive 
from the three-point line anymore. They had a lot more attempts in that first half. Mitchell outside. Pass to Garland. Struce in the corner. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Garland. Garland's got six assists here tonight. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. And we'll be right back after this. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ball game. At the guard position, it's Garland and Mitchell. Niang out there with Levert, and it's Wade in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Now here's Levert. And it's sent back by Drummond. Twice on the pipe, send it back, Andre Drummond. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. And here's what the Cleveland Cavaliers schedule looks like. On Wednesday, they'll tip off a road trip in Washington where they'll take on the Wizards. And then on Thursday, they'll face off against Ben Simmons and the Brooklyn Nets. And just looking ahead to what's on tap, there are a lot of winnable games for them. But you can't go into the stretch with that mentality. You've got to focus on what's in front of you and bring it every night. Now here's Drummond. Shot clock at six. Carter inside the three-point line. Rebound by Mitchell. Well, terrific defense. They obviously respect his ability and just want to make it tough. Out to Wade. Three-pointer. Good on the three-point shot. Wade's got the lead up to nine now for the Cavs. The defense a step slow, and you can see the results. Chicago calls timeout. And the Cavaliers with some changes. Jared Allen's checked in for Wade. Obley comes in for George Nian. And Struz is subbed in for Karis Levert. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Vucevic checked in for Andre Drummond. Alex Crusoe comes in for Tory Gray. Ayo Dosumu is checked in for Terry. And it's Kobe White in for Carter. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. 
Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Billy Donovan talking to his team. Now, he tore into his guys. He said, your body language is awful right now. You don't even look like you want to play right now. Should I sub in for you? Where's the drive to win? Guys? All right, thank you, David. And it's DeRozan missing. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. Right. He stays connected and great timing on the contest. It's Bruce on the wing. And the Cavaliers getting another bucket right there. Okay, Jared Allen, we see you making that look for a big man. That's a pretty pass. Vucevic setting the pick for White. Passes to DeRozan. Over Mobley. Good on that shot. And with that, the Cavalier lead is cut down now to just nine in the basket from DeRozan. To the middle. And stolen by White. And here comes White. Leading the fast break. Dosunmu shots good. And this is what you want on both ends. To win the battle of effort. And that's exactly what you can control, right? Your desire, your hustle, your will to succeed. Now, here's Mitchell. And shot on the way. Kicks it out to Allen. On the wing, Mitchell. Mobley dishes to Garland. And a miss there on the triple. And really, for some reason, just not a big part of their offense today. Hard to get into a rhythm when you're getting so few opportunities at the rim. Now, here's DeRozan. And it's sent back by Allen. Wow. Jared Allen twice on the pipe. Send it back, young sir. Struz passes to Mitchell. Cleveland moving the ball around. Here's Mobley. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the time assist. Out, and the Cavaliers lead by nine. Well, that's not the guy you want guarding him at the rim. Just too much of a differential in terms of size. Chicago calls timeout. They're down by nine. There's 47 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Out of bounds, Cleveland will take possession. Just didn't get his hands up in time on that one. They weren't on the same page there. And that's a block right there. He swats that ball away with some energy. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. Forty-three seconds left in the fourth quarter. Mobley is screen on white. Garland finds Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. No question. They've gotten hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. Vucevic to the pass to White. And White slams it in. Well, you can see why his teammates love playing with him. Vucevic willing to find the open guy. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. 
fires from way outside. It's rebounded by Cleveland. And here is Garland. So we see the Cavaliers get the win here. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the, the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. As we leave you with our New Balance Player of the Game, Jared Allen.